Hey guys, Anders here with another test server update video. Surprisingly, we got some decent things here for life skills again. The night before the Heidel Ball, so not too bad. Fishing, got some quality of life stuff. We no longer have the trash loot that you get from fishing. The ones that you can exchange for T9 materials, experience, uh, the Creo chairs, all that is gone now. Now in place of that, we have a new token. Uh, like they've been doing for the other life skills, a new token for this. This token will let you exchange it for the same items you got before. And the upside is that that Creo's chair got buffed and no longer is sold on the market, but it now has double the durability and a 5% auto fishing timer reduction, which makes sense. So it just makes it better for what it's used for, which is a nice change. In terms of money changes for fishing, which a lot of people have been asking for, they double the value of all blue fish. And whenever you sell to the Imperial NPC, you now are guaranteed Imperial seals with yellow fish, giving you possibly more than just one. So not a huge change. I'd say it's definitely a step in the right direction what i think is going to happen is we're going to hear something about trading reworks in the heidel ball this weekend and that's going to tie into another buff for fishing where you can make more money through the new trading mechanics now that's just my speculation that hasn't been confirmed but that's just what i think is going to happen we also have improved fishing advancement quests and daily quests which look pretty good as for trading the forest path wagon is now five times faster to craft and the gear on the market for that wagon is now twice as expensive and the amount of piece of image which you need to craft the wagon and those pieces will now always give you 150 through the traces processing and not be rng that's really good again it looks like they're going to be doing something with trading and the wagons so maybe they're changing some things in the announcement i could be wrong but we'll see this weekend now farming got a slight change again with more fruits for mysterious seeds on breed about 2.5 times more for guilds if you're GM is absent, gone, doesn't talk to you anymore. Well, you can take over the guild, but right now you'd have to spend, I think, like half your guild funds to be able to take over the GM spot. No longer, you don't have to pay any fee to do that. All party elixirs on the market have also increased in price. All traces have also increased in price to 200k max price. Higher tier leathers at around 1 million silver or so now. And polished stone is now 80k max price. So good changes over there. And lastly, gatekeepers are now going to spawn while you grind in Valencia. They're not going to spawn and be as strong as the normal gatekeepers, thankfully. But they will drop loot and spawn mobs for you to kill. These are so low elites basically so you can't share that loot and that's it for this one guys not a lot of changes but i think good quality of life changes i liked most of what i saw today and maybe i'm right and we finally do get some trading revamp announcements tomorrow at the heidel ball i'll have a video on all my predictions later on today so stay tuned for that and as always thanks for watching guys thanks for listening i'll see you all in the next one take care